One. You hear a professor talking about a new discovery in the human brain. Why is he talking to his students? To sum up, there are currently two approaches to rose hip neuron research investigation of the physical characteristics and exploration of the genetic characteristics. For this week's assignment, I want you to write between 800 and 1,000 words summing up the discoveries in one of these fields so far. Remember, you are only allowed to use academic journals as resources, no internet articles, even if they're by reputable scientists. That's the end of today's lecture, but before you go, I'd like to tell you about an exciting opportunity related to today's topic. My colleague, Dr. Winston, is currently involved in the genetic analysis of rosehip neurons, and she's willing to take on a research assistant for three months this summer. The candidate must be enthusiastic and knowledgeable and be able to demonstrate these qualities in an interview with Dr. Winston and the rest of her team. However, the first stage of the application process will include your homework assignment. So, if you wish to be considered for the position, please also attach a CV and covering letter when you hand in your essay next Friday. Have a great weekend, everyone. 2. You hear two students talking about a documentary they have seen. What do they agree about? That was a really interesting documentary. It was very informative. I'm afraid I disagree. It was very well made. The CGI was brilliant, but some parts were factually inaccurate. Like when the narrator stated that humans only use about 10% of their brains. This is a popular misconception, but in scientific circles it's known to be untrue. We actually use virtually all parts of our brains most of the time. Even in sleep during the REM cycle, Studies have shown that parts of the brain, like the hippocampus, are very active. Well, if that's true, it's quite a serious error. You have to admit that the case studies were very interesting, though. Indeed. The one about the savant, Charles, was intriguing. It's amazing that a nine-year-old boy with virtually no speech could solve those complicated maths problems. Yes, and it was fascinating that the structure of his brain was actually different from yours or mine. Part of his cortex was thicker, whereas other areas were thinner. 3. You hear two scientists talking about their lab equipment. What does the woman think about it? Don't you think our new lab is fantastic? It's so spacious. It's much easier to move around. This new lab has state-of-the-art equipment. Just look at this thermal analyzer. It's the latest model, and it's so simple to use. Yes, but both that and the chemical synthesizer take more time to complete their processes. These new machines may be able to perform extra functions, but sometimes the added steps are just unnecessary. I suppose you have a point, but we have twice the amount of equipment we used to have, so we can run multiple tests at once. And don't forget that computer program we had installed last week. It's much faster than the program we used to use, so I guess the time we lose testing samples is offset by the speed the results are analyzed.